In Kenyan laws, you cannot go and stay with a child yeah. who is under 18 years. I agree. He, yeah, he I has to be you. under the custody of the mother. Yeah. So those who are in this dispute, yeah. I still repeat, Maro is my son. Greetings to you, my beautiful people. How are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on your time zone. I hope that you are fine wherever you are. I am also fine, as you can see. Yes. Thank you so much to my returning subscribers. I love you. I love you. The love is somewhere here in my heart. I don't take you for granted. You mean the world to me. What would Mary do without you? To my newest subscribers, welcome home. This is home and you are at the right place. So guys, what's up? What is in the white streets? And as always, this is a reaction channel. Feel free to sit back, grab whatever you want to grab and let's have a conversation. I have here my hot cup of water. Or is it hot water of cup? Hey. There's this person who likes saying that <laughs> English is not vegetable. It is not vegetable. But anyway, we try as we need to make the content. So guys, as I was saying, this is a reaction channel. So let me move a bit here. Okay. Sawa sawa. So this is a reaction channel as always. As always. We spread love and positivity. Nothing much love and positivity yesterday guys did you see what has been going on on the streets of yt the unveiling of ayamaru's father hey this is breaking news if you have not seen that i don't know what you've seen and guys we have come out or we came out to react on it and i'm still here today to do a reaction on the same same issue remember what i told you yesterday that this thing is not going to end well masubo one this one is not going to end well i don't know what is wrong with you or are you working for some people we don't know but that is what usually happens most of the time you're going to realize that some people will just come out and expose something but when you, when you later on find out, you'll realize that they are working for some other people. So my super one, whoever has uh, sent you, tell them that it is enough. <clears throat> Let this issue rest. Oh, 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 oh. Let it rest. Today, the 1st of May, my super one was back in. Maro's father's place. What was the conversation? Actually, there was no conversation. I couldn't see any sensible conversation there. Maybe I'm the one who is overthinking or underthinking. But guys, if you go watch that video, the intention was one. Masuba one came all the way from Nyabuhanse to that side of Korea East to deliver. 1000 kenyan shilling which is equivalent to 10 dollars that was his main mission to deliver to who to aya Marwa's father apparently he has children in school one is in uh, form four form four is uh we can uh, equalize it with grade 12 and then the other one is in grade nine that is form one and according to him that man is going to help him you know as the children goes back to school next week, it is going to, you know, to help Ayamaro's father. 1,000 Kenyan shilling, $10. What are they trying to portray? If you are a keen person, a keen person who is keen to details, what Masubawan is trying to show the world is that Ayamaro's father is suffering suffering that is the key mission that this man is living in poverty or this man has children in school <coughs> you know 
he cannot afford maybe to take the children to school to pay the school fees he cannot afford transport that is what Masubowan is trying to show us or to tell us but is that the truth no it's not why am i saying that i'm saying this because of number one this is a retired teacher he has money pension he has pension and there's nothing that you can tell me about it he has pension and remember when you watch the video he says that he has some challenges he has some disabilities so his pension at least has extra amount on top because of disability so is this a person who is needy no that is my own opinion this man is not like that extremely needy but that is what they are trying to portray out here that ayamaro's father is needy or ayamaro has abandoned his father ayamaro needs to come and take care of his father that is the main mission and the main goal but at the end of the day they are embarrassing marwa and congrats dad and congrats mom forgetting that what they are creating is fracas or conflict in this family that is what they are creating remember what the man said yesterday he insisted that i am marwa's mother is still his wife which man is going to sit back and check that nonsense who is going to take that nonsense and then he started giving out reasons why you know why he never bonded with marwa that he wanted marwa to be safe and he gave out an example of winnie so if you don't know winnie winnie is i am marwa's sister And I think Winnie is the eldest. I think we have Winnie, then I am Marwa, D, and then David Jr. So what I think is that, not what I think, sorry. So the, he brought out this issue that there is a time when Winnie ran away from home. And they, they means congrats mom and congrats dad, thought that he had abducted or kidnapped Winnie. And they brought policemen to arrest him. And from that time, he decided to distance himself from Marwa because he did not want to, exp to, have, to have another experience like that one. But that is an excuse. That is an excuse. And you are not going to buy it. And my dear subscriber, my dear viewer, don't buy such. Don't. Don't be carried, you know, like a fool. That one, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, we refuse so. We refuse. He again said that, oh, the Kenyan law states that a child has to stay with the mother until they are 18 years, which I don't refuse, or I don't, um, I don't say that it's not right. But the same law does not tell you that, you, you uh, like, don't provide for the child until they are 18 years we know these things we know if you really really have any good intention or you had any good intention then baba maro you'd have created a bond with your son a long long time ago not now you tell me how can you bond with a person who is 37 years? Like how? It can't work. It is just common sense. It cannot work. It can't. Baba, where were you when Mara was below 10 years? What did you do when Mara was a teenager? Did you try to reach out? How do you expect a 37-year-old who is a mature man to bond with you? We play too much, as I always say, we play too much. We play too much. There is no way I am Maro is going to bond with the father, whether you like it or not. Masobo is really trying out to bring out, you know, to create out this tension. Eh? 
to make the tension to be so high in Yabohanse so that they can provoke Maro to come and speak out and tell people what he thinks. Don't think that. Um, this is my own opinion and in fact a very honest opinion. Don't think that by providing uh, inheritance to Marwa, that can be, that can lure him to bond with you. Marwa has his own property as we speak. And he may never set foot in that property that is being given by the father. Because when it comes to parenting, eh, don't play with it. Don't play with it. We play too much until it is too late. So for Ayamaro's father, I just want to advise him. Let him take this issue out of social media. Let people not use him to embarrass Congrats mom and Marwa. Let him not be used to create tension in this family. If he really, really has any good intention, as I said yesterday, there are so, so many ways of reaching out to Marwa. Let him use his relatives. Didn't he say he's in good terms with Congrats mom? Let him use Congrats mom. At least to convince Marwa to go and just sit with him and have a talk. And it is not automatic that he will bond with Marwa. It is a personal decision. And it may take a lot of time before they bond. If actually that is what Marwa will want. It will take a lot of time. It may take many years. Because this is a person who grew up without that father's love. This is a person who uh, grew up and then found, uh, you know, just uh, maneuvered around the world, you know, trying to understand how to become a man and such. So this is a man who is very independent. And I don't think it will be very easy. So it is up to Baba Marwa to be patient with his son. It is up to him to know that these content creators that are reaching out to him, they are not going to give him any solution. These same, same YouTubers, they are not going to make Marwa come to see his father. They are not going to do that. And if he has been very keen because he says he watches YouTube, a person like Masubowan, this was Congrats mom student in primary school. And this is the same, same man that has been, you know, that has been very disrespectful to Congrats mom. No respect to this woman. What makes him think that Congrats mom and Marwa and the biological father of Marwa can reconcile through Masubo one? It is impossible. Unless there's something else that you're not telling us. Hey, unless there's something else. Something else, Masubo, tell us the truth. Unless there's a hidden agenda. And you call call under wraps, under wraps, that we don't know. Unless there's something that is cooking that we are yet to know. Guys, unless there's something else, why Masubo one of all the people? Why Masubo one? What does he really, really want from this family? What is it? And of course, as we say, the truth will always come out at the end of the day. The truth will always come out. So please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Give this video a thumbs up. Remember to like and like and like. Remember to watch the video up to the end. It means a lot to me. Until next time, goodbye and thank you.